Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today we're going to be covering the top five topics that I would recommend you study when you are studying for the Salesforce Marketing Associate Certification exam. So this was my most recently taken certification exam, so this is still pretty fresh on my mind. And this certification, let's get into a little bit of the background of it, but this certification was definitely different. Uh, this is, of course, an associate certification, so it looks a little different than like your regular admin certification or app builder certification. This one was a 40 question, and it was like, choose one out of three answers. Between those two things, it felt like it was a little bit easier of a certification exam, but some of the content of the questions was fairly repetitive, and if you didn't know what they were talking about, it might have been a very confusing exam for you. Let's talk a little bit about who this exam is good for. I would say that this exam is good for someone who possibly is already an admin who wants to dive into marketing and go into marketing a little bit more, such as like doing Marketing Cloud admin stuff and who wants to explore more of that or who wants to show their current knowledge. If you are already using marketing, this would be a good stepping stone into the marketing direction. On this exam, I noticed that they covered a lot of general marketing concepts. So I have my MBA and so I felt like it was pretty helpful on the exam because I had a lot of marketing classes for my MBA. But that's not to say that you need to have an MBA to pass the certification because that's definitely not what I'm saying. Um, it was helpful. So if you have comparable work experience working somewhat with online marketing or marketing in general, then some of these things should be fairly familiar. It was very much a vocabulary exam where it was like, hey, I'm gonna throw a bunch of marketing vocabulary at you and see which ones you get right. That's how it, it really felt on the exam. Let's jump into some of these vocabulary terms. It was like vocabulary and a little sprinkle of Salesforce features. So the first one is going to be data dimensions. This one was mentioned a lot. You could also say data extensions. Let's jump into what these mean. So data dimensions is kind of like the little piece of information that you break different segments down by. I have a course and I talk about this example a lot within my course, but let's say we are shopping at Cabela's, which is a outdoorsy kind of store. So you could have different segments of your store, different departments of your store, and you could segment your customers into different data dimensions based upon their product interest. So let's say you have camping, hunting, and fishing as your different segments of the market that you're trying to sell to. You could split each of those customers that are interested in those three separate product lines, and you could separate those into different data dimensions, and that's essentially what it would be. So people who have interest in this product, in the hunting uh, product, that's going to be your data dimension. Um, people who are interested in camping, that's going to be their data dimension. So where Salesforce fits into this one is when it comes to data extensions. So so data dimensions is like the thing that you are segmenting down your customers by. So in this case, it would be product interest. Data extension is the technical term of how you're going to do that in marketing cloud engagement and how you're going to get them into uh, email journeys is essentially what that would be. But I laugh because data dimensions, it felt like the whole exam was about data dimensions. So. Um, be familiar with that term and understand it pretty well. Another example that we could take here is like a Salesforce example. So like you have different products and different clouds within Salesforce. If you're interested in CPQ, that would be a data dimension that you could use or Salesforce could use and to segment down their customers by. You could also use it for experience cloud or you could use it for health cloud or whatever cloud you are interested. That's going to be your data dimension. So number two is going to be regional privacy laws. So these are going to be specifically the GDPR, which is going to be for Europe, then the CCPA, which is going to be California, and then the Can Spam Act, which is just the general US. That one's a little bit older. But the reason why you want to understand some of these and some of the basic tenets of these different laws, you don't need to be a lawyer. You don't need to understand it like you're gonna go testify in front of Congress. You just need to understand the basic uh, core tenets of what each of these is going to be getting at. So for the Can Spam Act, typically this is going to be things like, hey, you have to have a physical mailing address um, for 
A lot of these, it's going to be that you have to be able to delete their data or that you have to have a purpose for these pieces of data. Um, understand how they play a role in email marketing and in marketing in general and you should be good to go. Most of the exam was focused on email marketing rather than any other form of marketing. So also understanding a little bit about email marketing and kind of the different things they'll want to keep an eye out for, that is good as well. That leads us into number three, which is just going to be general email sending and general email vocabulary. So things like sender profiles, so the, who the email is from, the subject line of an email, what bouncing means when it comes to emails, that kind of thing would be pretty important on the exam. Number four is just going to be general marketing knowledge. And this is not necessarily to help you pass and to get the correct answer as much as it is as it is for context on the exam. A lot of the questions were fairly complex as far as the different pieces of lingo that they asked. And so if you were able to understand the context of the question, then the answer was pretty self-explanatory. So understanding generally what campaigns are and what that is, um, understanding how you might interact with customers, how you might gain customers, especially to get them on an email list, understanding that you're gonna to want to have them opt into your email list so then you can send them emails, understanding who the best target audience for your emails is going to be and for your product in general. That's all going to help with context. Number five is going to be metrics. So this is going to also cover KPIs or key performance indicators. Key performance indicators are really important for this exam, especially when it comes to an email marketing con context. So things like bounce rates, open rates, uh, click-through rates, conversion rates, ROI, all of these things are going to be really important. Also, A-B testing, um, just general metrics that you'll want to understand when it comes to sending out emails, um, what metrics that you should keep an eye out for to show that your email marketing campaign was a success versus not a success, and in which contexts and in which scenarios you would wanna look out for certain KPIs versus others. But that is going to be the top five things that I would study to do better on the exam or to pass the exam. Uh, once you understand a lot of these, it should be fairly easy to pass. Again, this exam was an associate exam, and so it felt like a vocabulary exam and understanding the vocabulary went a very long way with a little bit of Salesforce sprinkled in. So thank you so much for watching this video. You can check out actually my course on the Marketing Associate on Salesforce Upskill as well as on Udemy. It is not currently on Udemy Business and I hope for it to be on LinkedIn Learning soon. So keep an eye out for all of those places. You can connect with me on LinkedIn and Twitter at MBA. But thank you so much. I'll catch you guys in the next one.